Hello everyone. Welcome to part 10 of the Python Basics tutorial series. We'll be learning about dictionaries. So dictionaries are unordered data structures that map keys to values. Well, the value can be just about anything. It could be a list, a function, a string, anything really. The key has to be immutable. For example, keys are commonly numbers, strings, or tuples. Okay. So what I'm doing in this line of code here is I'm defining a dictionary. So everything to the left of a colon is a key, and then everything to the right is a value. So key, value, and so on and so forth. So what you'll note here when I print out this dictionary is the first key I entered was person, whereas when I printed it out, the first thing that you see is marathon. So I'm just trying to emphasize that dictionaries are unordered. Okay. So now if you want to access the various values in a dictionary, so I have my dictionary here and I want the value for my key marathon. So it's basically just dictionary brackets key. And then when you do that, you'll get your value. So the reason why I structured this example, as you know, words and definitions, is this is pretty analogous to a real life dictionary, where if I go on Webster's, for example, I can type in some sort of key, and then I get values, you know, as a definition. Okay. So oftentimes you find that you want to add new key pair, key value pairs to a dictionary. So you can do it one at a time where you add one value uh, to a key. And while that's great, oftentimes you find that you want to add more than one key value pair at a time. And dictionaries have a wonderful inbuilt method called update. And this allows you to add or update more than one key value pair at a time. So I typically use update um, more often than I use shoe, for example. Um, however, sometimes you also just want to remove, you know, various keys from your dictionary. And the way you do this is by del, and then the dictionary and then the key. So in this case, I removed the word resist, as well as its corresponding value from my dictionary. Um, one thing I want to reemphasize is that keys have to be immutable. So basically, you're limited to tuples, numbers, and strings. So I'm going to get an error here, a type error. So if I just had this as a string, this would have worked. Um, but since I had it as a list, um, I'm going to get an error. OK. So one really practical method that's inbuilt to Python dictionaries is the get method. So I'll first define a dictionary and then show you the utility of the get method. So I basically just have a dictionary I'm defining of words. And then let's just say how many times they occur in some story. So is, let's say, occurred 100 times in a story. Um, Michael occurred 12 times and runs occurred 5. So I have my dictionary defined. And oftentimes, you'll want to see if a, a certain key is in your dictionary. And this is where the get method comes in handy. So if I just look for a value for a key that I think might be in the dictionary run, I'll get a key error if the key doesn't exist. OK? So what's really handy is this get method. So the get method basically makes it where you just have the get and then a key you want to look up to see if it's in the dictionary. If it's not in the dictionary, Python will automatically return none instead of some sort of error, um, which can basically stop your code and cause all sorts of problems. Um, however, if you want, um, let's say I'm doing a word count of how many times a word occurs in a story, um, the utility of the get method here is if run doesn't occur, it's not a key then I can return it of any value I want. In this case, I return 0. But I can have it return, you know, whatever. 
Um, and this is pretty useful when we go over the word count example in the next tutorial. And I'll get into that in a bit. So in addition to using uh, DEL, um, where did I put it? Oh, DEL um, to remove key value pairs in the dictionary. You can also use the pop method, um, where pop, you basically enter a key here, and then it'll return the value. So uh, in case I want to do anything with how many times the occurred in, in my story, I can do that. Um, briefly, I'll go over iterating through dictionaries. So a couple handy inbuilt methods for dictionaries um, are the keys method, where it just returns the keys in your dictionary, and then the values method, where it returns the values in your dictionary. So you can simply iterate through the keys in your dictionary. Um, I find this less useful than the items method, where this items method will, re will return a list of tuples. Um, and inside the tuples are first the key and then the value. And basically, this is the key. This is the value um, for this given key person. And I'll go through a real life example in the next video where we learn about um, word count and we'll use the items method, the get method, and accessing values in our dictionary. Thanks. Bye.